Here we're asked to graph the solution set to a linear inequality. Since it's less than or equal to 10, the boundary of this solution set will be graphed as a solid line. Let's graph that boundary using intercepts. We set y equal to 0 to find the x-intercepts. In this case, we'll have 5x minus 0 is equal to 10, or 5x is equal to 10, dividing both sides by 5, x will equal 2. So for the boundary, the x-intercept is 2 comma 0. We'll set x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept. In this case, we'll have 5 times 0 minus y equals 10. 5 times 0 is just 0, or we'll have, we'll be left with here, negative y equals 10. Dividing both sides by negative 1, y equals negative 10. So the y-intercept is 0 comma negative 10. Let's use these two points to graph the boundary. Okay, our x-intercept is here 2 comma 0. Our y-intercept is at 0 comma negative 10. Two points determine a line. Let's connect these with a straight edge. Once we have the boundary graphed, we need to determine which half of the plane contains the solutions to the original inequality. To do this, we have to choose a test point. In this case, it would be easiest to choose the origin. To test whether or not zero zeros in the solution set, we plug these values in for x and y and see if it solves the inequality. So in this case, we have 5 times 0 minus 0. We need to see if that's less than or equal to 10. 0 minus 0 is just 0, and certainly 0 is less than or equal to 10. That's true. Therefore, the test point 0, 0 is in the solution set. It's on the half of the plane where the solution lies. For this reason, we're going to shade in all the values here that contain the test point. And here we shade those solutions in as best we can.